Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about origin of life. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So our universe is very old, almost twenty billion years old. Now Big Bang theory explains us. the origin of universe so at the time all matter was compacted into a very small ball with infinite density and intense heat it was called a singularity before this event space and time did not exist so before this singularity there was no space and no time a sudden explosion of this singularity occurred and that emitted lots and lots of energy and due to that huge energy the universe began to expand the temperature came down hydrogen and helium formed and condensed themselves due to gravitation and formed the galaxies So galaxy is a huge collection of stars dust gases and other particles galaxies are held together by gravity okay now the milky way is our galaxy where the solar system is located earth formed around 4.5 billion years back that time there was no atmosphere that means oxygen was absent in earth water vapor methane carbon dioxide and ammonia covered the surface the uv rays from the sun broke up water into hydrogen and oxygen and the lighter hydrogen escaped oxygen combined with ammonia and methane to form water co2 and others as it cooled the temperature cooled down the water condensed into water vapor and fell as rain to fill all the depressions and form oceans life appeared 4 billion years ago so there are some theories regarding this and we have five theories here the first theory is conventional religious theory This theory is also called theory of special creation. This theory states that all living organisms that we see today were created as such. But it can't be true, right? We all have evolved from our ancestors. It can't be true that all recent living organisms were created by God as such. 
second the diversity was always the same since creation and will be the same in future it is also a big myth because continuous genetic changes are happening and altering the diversity third earth is only 4000 years old Although we have fossil records that earth is aged it is formed 4.5 billion years back but this theory is arguing so all these theories were strongly challenged during the 19th century next theory is cosmozoic theory this theory states that life come from outside Early Greek thinkers thought units of life which are called spores so units of life are called spores they were transferred to different planets including earth this is called panspermia which means life exists throughout the universe This theory also does not provide strong evidences. So we are not very sure about this theory. Next is theory of abiogenesis. So a means no bio means life and genesis means production. of formation so this theory was also called theory of spontaneous generation in 17th century in 17th century this theory suggested that life arose from non life such as decaying and rotting matter like straw mud etc So Van Helmont developed the scientific recipe for the generation of mice. So what he did he wrapped wheat kernels in a sweat soaked shirt and left it in an open container for 20 days. 20 days later baby mice appeared. so it does not have any meaning right if you give the food wheat in open air mice will come they will give birth and you can see pups in a few days does that really mean that mice come from wheat and sweat but this meaningless theory became very popular but was rejected later by pasteur's experiment next theory is theory of biogenesis this theory was proposed by louis pasteur in 1860s this theory states that life come from life and pasteur conducted a very famous experiment in which he used a glass flask with an s shaped neck that is called swan neck flask because the neck of the flask is s shaped it is like the neck of swan so he partly filled the flask with a nutrient rich yeast containing broth the broth contains yeast he then boiled the broth to kill any germ that is already present in the broth and this process is known as pasteurization pasteur allowed this broth to rest so he allowed this broth to rest he removed the heat and allowed this flask to rest after some time he noticed that the color of the broth did not change 
So broth remains free of microorganisms. He explained the germ particles in the air could not enter the flask due to the S shape and became trapped, became trapped at that point. So the germ particles became trapped at this turn, at this point. Therefore, they were not able to contaminate the broth. Then pasture had a duplicate set and in this case what he did he broke the neck he broke the neck here so he broke the neck of that flask and allowed it open in the air after some time he observed a cloudy microbial growth and concluded life comes only from pre-existing life because in this case germs were able to enter the flask because the neck is broken and they replicated they multiplied and pasture observed huge number of microorganisms grew in the broth next theory is operin harlan theory that I will explain in next lecture. Please stay tuned with me. Thank you.